I just wrote a great article from Inc. that I wanted to share about the two most important resources in business. The first resource is time. Now, if you are a CEO, or you could just be the CEO of your own life, you need to start working on prioritizing where you spend your time and optimizing it. So the article brought up a really great term I'm going to definitely start using. It's called G-E-M-O, or GMO, which is good enough moving on. And I really love that because it's something where even if you are the perfect person to do this task, if there's a way you can outsource this or delegate it to someone else and it's good enough, you should just move on. And I thought that was super insightful. The other thing they brought up was trust. And I could not agree with them more. Trust is absolutely pivotal, even if it's just you. So you don't have to be an entrepreneur. You are the CEO of your life. So you need to have trust with those around you. And when it comes to your integrity, your integrity can never shine through when things are easy. Your integrity is only tested when times are tough. So when you have to do the hard thing to show that you have integrity and you're there for some person, that's when your integrity shines through. In the good times, you cannot show you have high integrity. It's only in the bad times and the hard times that you're really gonna shine through. This is very similar to the often misquoted, Rome wasn't built in a day, and the lesser known second half of that, which is, but it burned in one. And that's something that really comes true when it comes to your trusting relationships with your closest people around you. Those reputations and your trust need to be protected with your life, and you should only be showing people as much as they're showing you. So you should be very slow to hire people and very quick to fire people because that trust is something that takes a very long time to build. When you wanna start working on your time management and trust with those around you, you should start working on your emotional intelligence or EQ. There's no better place to start than my EQ playlist up here. Or if you're ready to move to social intelligence or SQ, you should get started with this playlist right down here. Or you can keep doing exactly what you're doing and getting the same results you've been getting.